I'm Sarah Negus, the modern day shaman, and I'm here to help you really master and discover everything that's going on inside of you so that you can live your best life. After all, you haven't got to be different, you haven't got to be anything other than you. But what is a really good idea, I find, is to really get to know all of the things inside of you that make up your mechanics and make your behaviours. What am I talking about today? I'm going to talk about what happens when you want to embrace change and invest in your future in any way that that is. Um, but your inner gremlins, they, they kind of come in and they play around in your mind and that opportunity that you have for your life that you've identified starts to feel really uncomfortable. Now, what about finding out why that happens and, and what about finding a way to sidestep it and overcome it? Now, I see it happen over and over and over again with clients, prospective clients, myself, I do it. And um, there seems to be certain things that are kind of grouped together in themes as reasons why you can't go and do that thing that feels like it might help you grow, it might help you be the next thing. And I'm not talking about shiny objects that you kind of see on the internet or you uh, see in the shops or your neighbor has. I'm talking about something that you perhaps spent a little bit of time um, researching and looking around to find a way for you to learn more about yourself, a way for you to, um, I don't know, uh, e explore your business uh, or, or launch your business or anything like that. Working out, finding a good personal trainer, that's another thing that um, I find gets kind of muddied with the stuff that you have going on. The things that I've heard a lot over the last, gosh, three years online in particular, um, and I've been doing quite a lot of research around them, are, oh gosh, it's just not the right time. Now, I say that sometimes. And usually when I say it, it's because what I'm about to do frightens the life out of me. It means I've got to really stretch myself. It means that I've got to really open up into a new version of me that I haven't quite got comfortable with. Now, if you hear yourself saying things like that to, your, to you, it's not the right time. Maybe tomorrow I'm going to do it next month. Oh, October feels like a good time for me to actually really do that. And, you know, October's months away. Ask yourself, if not now, then when? Because I tell you what, if you have got in your idea, in your idea, in your mind's eye, an idea of where you're going for yourself, yet you keep putting it off, talk about uh, serious procrastination. If you're saying to yourself, it's not the right time, I invite you to sit yourself down and write out why it is that it, now you're starting to think that you want to do this thing, whatever it is, and what brought you to this place, and then why you're trying to talk yourself out of it. What are you afraid of? What is it that you're uncomfortable with? Is it change? If you go and embark on this journey of, of exploring more experience for yourself, do you feel that uh, change is going to come in your life? And perhaps you're not going to be able to live the life that feels comfortable and you recognize. Well, that is procrastination big time and self-sabotage and also being a little bit of victim to your life um, and to your history. So the way to overcome that for me, and what I teach my clients is if you're thinking, oh gosh, I really want to do this, but it's not the right time, sit yourself down and be really honest with yourself about your excuses here, because that is all it is, is an excuse, yeah? The next thing that comes up, and I see this as well, is that I'm too busy to do this right now. I can't invest the time, yeah? So if you are really that busy, but you're wanting to change and shift, then 
why are you so busy? What is it that you're hiding from? Why do you fill your life up with so much stuff, so much busy, 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 that there is no space in your life for you to actually resource yourself, to look at yourself, to grow yourself? Another thing that comes through, another uh, excuse, if you like, um, is that I can't commit because I have so many family commitments. I can't do what I want to because I have all of the, the people around me that need me so much. And again, this is serious self-sabotage and it's also victim energy in that you are not a lot, you're not resourcing yourself and you're not giving to yourself. Now, one of the things that I um, really advocate is that you come from a full cup. Now, lots of people that I have come across say, oh, Sarah, but that's, that's being selfish. If I haven't got time for others, that's being selfish. Now, is it? Is it not being self-full? So if you're full of love for yourself, if you give to yourself, if you resource yourself, surely that means that your family and the people around you that rely on you will be resourced more fully in a in a more um, what's the word tip of my tongue in in a, in a healthier way. So you're not giving for need or validation. You're giving from love. It's a big difference. You've got this idea of this new opportunity for your life, and you say to yourself, "I'm going to go for that." You have you have the uh, uh, conversation with whoever it is that you're wanting to to work with, or the uh, organisation that you want to invest in, and then you go away, and you think, "Oh my God, it's a bit of a stretch. I don't think I can afford it." Now, this this money saying, this money mantra, "I can't afford it," is something that we often say to ourselves. But what we really mean is, it's is it. It's not priority. I know there's lots of things that I decide I can't afford, but what I really mean is it's not priority for me at the moment. Yet the opportunity that you've identified that is going to help you experience more of yourself is there waiting for you. Now, is that priority or is it really that you can't afford it? Yeah? So, can't afford it, check out if you're saying that you yourself are not priority. If you're saying you're not priority, then you need to really seriously look at it. If you're disguising, I'm not going to invest in myself because I'm not worth it, you need to look at that, I can't afford it. Now, I know in my history, I come up um, and wanted and really um, needed, actually, uh, coaching, business coaching. I'm, I'm I'm very good on energy and um, I've had to seriously learn business strategy and structure. And um, the, the, the three times that I've invested in a strategy, a business strategist, I've frightened the life out of myself because um, I've had to really dig deep into my own financial coffers and, and two times I paid on my credit card. Now I'm not suggesting that you should do this. I'm telling you my experience. Um, and decided that I was actually worth investing this money in. I was taking a risk on myself. And um, every single time I did that, the return on that investment has been huge. So whenever you hear yourself saying, I can't really afford it, I'd like to invite you to ask yourself, am I worth it, number one? Am I really priority here, number two? And how much will I lose out if I don't invest in myself in this way? Now, in my case, if I hadn't have um, employed a business strategist coach, then I think my business probably would have failed. And actually, now it's not. It's thriving. It's six figures, and I love it. And I will continue to invest in the sort of help that I need in terms of things that I'm not good at. I still continue with my own self-development, with my own mentors, because I can't see myself. I see myself in other people's eyes and their behavior triggers me. Now, these triggers 
are my clue that I need to go and actually work with someone to help me to find what's going on in my subconscious and in my unconscious mind so that I can become more aware of myself and vibrate at a higher, higher frequency. Now, interesting to you, if it has and you think that it's going to be useful for other people, please do share it. Um, and thank you so much for being on live with me. If you have more questions, just stick them in the feed and I'll come back later and um, answer by messenger for you. Thank you. Lots of love. Goodbye.